Women prepared to climb unarmed this 4,800 meter high tower, but they didn't even notice because of the tower's old age and lack of maintenance had fallen into disrepair. The journey up was smooth. They were very excited to have made it to the top. They were doing various extreme poses at the top of the tower. After a bit of revelry, they were ready to return to the ground. But as they say, it's easy to go up, but hard to go down. Something unexpected happened. The dilapidated spiral ladder was obviously no longer able to support. Luckily, Hunter grabbed the rope in time. That's how Becky saved her life. Through the remaining half of the spiral ladder, she climbed back to the top of the tower with great difficulty. The two of them were so focused on celebrating their survival, but they didn't realize how to get down. When they came to their senses, they started to panic. There was no cell phone reception at this height of 10,000 meters. What's worse is that, deep inside the tower was an endless desert. The two men could not help but feel a sense of despair. Just then, Becky seemed to have found something. There was a metal box on the tower. Inside was a telescope and a flare gun. This instantly gives the two men hope. Hunter took the telescope and looked around. And Becky then found another problem. Their packs had fallen on the radio. It was filled with water and food. Without water they might not even wait for help. So they came up with a not so good idea. First, they tied the rope to the phone. Then Hunter climbed down half a spiral ladder, trying to use the phone to hang onto the backpack. Unfortunately, the rope was not long enough. They had no choice but to save their strength while using binoculars to try to find help. Perhaps it was a blessing from the heavens. A man and a dog appeared under the tower. Becky and Hunter shouted for help, but the people below were on the phone and could not hear them. Hunter saw the situation and hurriedly took off a pair of shoes and threw them down. But to no avail. Only the dog found it. As the dog and the man were about to turn around and leave, Becky also took off her shoes and threw them down. Still to no avail, so she took off another one and threw it out. This time she threw it on the iron ladder. The noise attracted a passerby. He slowly walked over, picked up the shoe and looked around a bit, but did not turn his head to look up. Even though Becky and Hunter's voice is almost broken, but they can only watch each other go away. Becky saw the situation and took out a flare gun to fire, but Hunter stopped him. It's not dark yet. The signal is not bright enough. This is the only chance we have. We can't waste it in daylight. We know from the passers-by. Now we can be sure that someone is around, so there is no hurry. We'll wait until night. Soon it was getting dark. Seeing the right moment, Becky fired decisively. The brightness successfully attracted the people below. Hunter took the opportunity to turn on his flashlight and waved it down. The other side also found them through the binoculars at this time. The sky is the limit. The two men were very excited. They thought they were going to be rescued, but they didn't know that the other side was trying to steal their vehicle. Desperate, the two men fell asleep. 